Hi there, welcome back, I'm Andrew and today we play some Humankind. In the last episode, as you know, as you remember, we declared war to the yellow civilization, so the Queen Valley Nongsavi, the Achaemid Persians. And the Achaemid Persians are not that bad because they have already the Immortals. The Immortals are really strong, uh, they have uh, 30 as a melee stat against our warriors, which can just use a 27. Um, we have actually the bet a, a better unit, the Noble Javelineers. Um, if we attack them having the high ground, we will win every time. But if we attack uh, having them on the high ground, it's going to be a disaster for us. I'm sure about that. One thing that I just noticed when I was reviewing the game, the, the save game, I noticed that I lost at sea a unit in the last episode and I didn't realize, so I'm going to build another Pentecostal right now and then I think I'm going to move towards the barracks in Arapa because I have to push as much as possible. And I'm going to use now the tech subsides in every city. All of my cities are going to have the technology subsides and I'll explain you why in a minute. Because I want to give, uh, uh, yeah, here we go. Because I want to get the conquest as soon as possible, and then to, uh, I want to move to siege tactics, so that in five turns I will be able to include an extra unit in my armies, and it's going to be much easier to uh, win. <clears throat> now we have here a regiment uh, that we can use against the warrior here, which not a, which is not a warrior, it's just an embassy so it's a diplomat that's that's, that's gonna look fun that's gonna be fun really let's attack him immediately he's a diplomat against four scouts <laughs> not not the most heroic battle of my life but let's give it as it is this poor guy is already doing very bad I might consider giving a promotion to those scouts so that they will turn into um, horsemen and they will go inside the, the yellow area and pillage as much as I can. I should have done it already, uh, it, but it's it's very pricey. It's very pricey, but I think it's gonna it's gonna be useful. The fourth legion now is uh, consisting in horsemen. I need to be extremely careful, though, because uh, the army of uh, the yellow is, as you can see, mostly composed by spearmen. So my Legion 4 against this army will definitely be wiped out. It, they would be wiped out. And if I attack here, I, I'm not that sure. I'm not that sure. I, I don't want to risk it. So I'm going to put my army here on this hill and I'm moving the other armies south and I will try, let me see, and I will try here in Moenodaro to build another one again. So at the moment we have the Legio 2, Legio 3, the Regiment, the Legio 4 and the Legio 1 here. So those guys did move already, not yet. So we have uh, all together 12 units. Um, we have to try to destroy their units before attacking again. We need to, of course, we do our best. I'm not sure if I should use, but this is Lothal. No, Lothal is going to produce a special district. Moenodaro has... Uh, in Moenodaro we don't have a lot of food, but we have to recover. Let me work a little bit on food with the animal barns so that we can increase our population faster and then... I mean the barracks might be helpful, but probably... Having another army is gonna be better. <laughs> All right, let me see now. We can claim a wonder. Let me see if those guys are attacking us. Okay, I tried to attack using the high ground. Okay, we, we, we pushed them back as, as expected. They even didn't want to, they didn't even consider to, 
possibility. That's great. Um, let me have a look at my. Uh, now, now I see what's. Uh, I now I see the problem. We would end up really in open ocean here, and then in open ocean there. I cannot uh, give the autopilot to my uh, pentacoter here. I just need to do it manually, otherwise uh, it's gonna be a disaster. Let's go to the um, to the nature, the agriculture wonder. So my first choice is the Light of Alexandria for the simple reason that my navies will be faster and I will be exploring faster, which gives more points and provides us with uh, an advantage when we compare, um, compare it to our neighbors because we will see the new world quicker. And I already noticed that there is here some, some terrain. It might be an island, it might be a a little peninsula out of a huge continent, I have no clue, but I would like to do that. And my second choice would be the mausoleum at Alicarnassus, so uh, in order to get science per district or outpost. I'm gonna pick the lighthouse so far, but I'm not going to build it right away, but I, I, I think I can just uh, secure it, because for me that's very important. What I'm gonna have to do here is the station, and what I'm gonna do here is uh, I'm going to try to enter Parsa with the 4th Legion and I will try to uh, pillage and make their life uh, difficult. Let's see if they try to come back. They do come back, they do come back, they, they come back with a better, with a bigger army. Now I will try to flank this army and attack again. They of course decide again to withdraw. And if I attack once again, I might be able to use four, no, sorry, 12 units against four. While if I wait three turns, I might have 15 here. For sure I will get this chariot and I'm going to use also some more swordsmen. And I'm not 100% sure if I want to do that. Let's enter here. Let me see if I can build something. Not yet. Parsa has two spearmen uh, inside, so let me let me just go and try to build something. If they attack me, I will just escape. I really need to be careful here. We have six spearmen and one uh, Tasseti. That's not a bad army. Mine is definitely weaker. I'm going to um, pick the plundered wage. So if I go and pillage any district of my enemy, I'm going to, I'm going to get 50% more gold. Okay, let's... <sighs> Patient or not. Manual battle. We're going to attack. It seems that they don't have any reinforce. Seriously? Nah, that cannot be. They don't have reinforcements. Seriously? All right, let, let, let's let's look at that. Let's let's see. It's our turn. I move my I move my infantry and I try to kill the Tasseti right away. I also can try from the hill. Not not really. Not really. Um. I have to think, okay, I can pick my chariot and actually charge from behind. So the Tasseti will be killed and I'm going to grab the flag. It seems that I managed to attack with three armies against uh, uh, one. If I knew this, I think I miscalculated the risk. And if I knew it, I would have attacked immediately without thinking, but fine. I am going now to focus my attack on this guy, one, two, three. And on this guy, it's going to be one, two, three. Okay, then... All right, all right, okay, okay. That looks, that looks quite good. Now, 
Hmm. Well, 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 I, I, I think that I can try to save uh, my guy here. I will uh, then put it in the next turn here and try to finish off the central unit so far. We work on the wings. Uh, we are gonna lose this chariot. It's missing. I think that I move everybody now. I could still attack. Nope, I have to end the turn. Yep. Oh man, <laughs> that's that's a wow. That's a miracle. My chariot didn't die on the first attempt. He died on the second, but at least uh, um, he took two attacks to the enemy, and I lost my weakest unit. To be honest, so let's make sure that now we don't make any mistake. The Javanese must really hit first and guys, really, they, they, they are strong. The mortars are strong, really. So we killed one army, but it cost us one costed one unit and uh, okay, now they have only one army. They can't uh, do absolutely nothing against us, but I am going to slow down. I, I don't want to push anything. Let me check, let me speak with the Queen of the Han. We have a crisis. What? No, we, we don't have any crisis. I... Th Man, wait a minute. Um, it seems that they are now vassals of the goats and I can speak with the uh, goat uh, queen. Mu Guing, loyal, vindictive, vindictive, master, warlord and hipster. Mm, all right. As a pacifist, they see after after why after after um, killing an entire civilization and forcing them into a, a vassalage, now they are peaceful. Of course, they are sweet. Okay, let's trade with them. Let's trade with them. I I really like trading um, when I don't have to kill someone. So, and I'm gonna say I will renounce the transpassing of this little lady because she looks so nice. Uh, I can buy your porcelain in the next turns. Yeah, sure. I'm gonna do it. Okay, fine. Now let's move our uh, fleet one here, so that we still land on. How is it called? This like coastal water. And now I think I can click on next turn. Let's see what I do. They get close. Are they? Are they serious? They just get close to me. They want to die. I thought that they would... I, I have no idea, seriously. I was sure that they would just escape, you know? No, they don't. Okay, in two turns we will have the siege tactics. I have the feeling that this is going to happen also if I have a balanced policy everywhere, which will give me more money for sure. And uh, wait a minute. And also more money and more uh, food and so on. Let's keep everything balanced. Yes, still two turns. So, so now we have here the barracks. I could build, I could build uh, the parade, which is gonna give me plus experience on the next units, but that's fine. I'm gonna take an envoy so far. Then I could get plus eight industry, quite, quite good, and then I'm gonna build the lighthouse of Alexandria. The gods is offering a non-aggression pact. I absolutely accept it. I also buy the uh, ebony, which is great. So the green uh, culture is currently on third position with 2,700 points. The 
the CN culture is slowly catching us. They might uh, um, get much better. They will definitely be better than us because we have only 4,276 points. They have 4,071. They still miss a lot of stars. And I am a little bit afraid that we will lose our first position, but no worries. No worries. We can do it. We, we, we will manage. All right. So now um, let, let's attack those guys here. They don't retreat. They do retreat. They do retreat. They must retreat. Yeah. So our worst support increase is the worst support is just now sinking. But I'm going to wait. I am going to wait a little bit. Uh, just a little bit. We keep, we keep this unit here on the top of the hill. And we put this unit here so they can heal. And now we do our huge trip on the other side of the ocean. Woo! No, not really, but you know, it looks like that. Good. Enter. We have an agrarian star. One turn left, and here we can just go south and see. There is another city. Okay. Look at this thing. That's very important to notice. The current population of Kerma and Parsa altogether is 8 pop. They can't afford building new armies, okay? So, we have to keep it in mind. We have to keep it in mind. Here we can uh, maybe heal these units once again. I think I will wipe out this army now. No, no, not like this. What the fuck? I think I did another misspeak of mine. As I always do. <clears throat> Manual battle. Yeah, sure. Okay, the deployment. Uh, we are on the same level, so that's quite fine. I will try to keep one uh, open line so that my my troops can fire, and then I will close an attack with my infantry. But first, the javelin must start. And now we do another surprise here. All right. Man, they are strong. They have really strong units. They have really, really strong units. It's unbelievable. They are strong. They are really strong. All right. Let's kill the archer. So now they are two units. I think that I will not be able to kill any of my units, but let's see. <laughs> you never know. Now the turn is over. Let's see what I do. They, of course, control again the flag and try to fight back. That's That's absolutely right. So what I'm gonna do, I move those units far away so that I can open again. Um, yeah, it's actually not working as I expected, as I wanted, because those guys are too far now. done I think it's done so we kill the second army now and we can march and siege the cities I think that the attrition war is over now and we can really go into the into the real deal uh, this this guide is uh, Diplo It's going to be positioned in Sus. Wonderful. 
Okay, now we know Daro can work on uh, the embassy. Let's finish the turn. And we have the siege tactics research. Okay, much better. Oh, wait a minute. There is another, another army here. Man, they are a lot. Seriously, they are a lot. They are a lot. We pillage. We destroy, we try to call them out so we can fight them again. Crazy, really. <laughs> uh, why? Uh, How do you do? I never seem to surprise you. I mean, what's, what's going on? Yeah, I know that I'm going to destroy my relations with them. I'm at war with them. Man, that's that's funny. Okay, we are on the other side. We survived this time, so we can keep exploring. And now we can be here stationary. Let me check if I can uh, take some civics. Plus faith in territories. Or plus influence. Um, and we get more geopolitical, so we have more food. Why not? So Tikal is now built the Kuhan. Great, very good city with 12 inhabitants. We get the pottery, which is necessary, and the palisade, and then we will see what to do. So now we could quickly get hydrology, fortification, craftsmanship, and rhetoric. So we try to catch up on now the technology that we missed. Next turn. Right. And now we pillage again. We're gonna get a lot of gold out of this war and then we will conquest, conquer them. Well met. Well met indeed. Good. And the fun fact, guys, is that no one is complaining here. They can't complain, of course. Um, fine. Hydrology reserves. Okay, we continue with our research path and we have a scientific um, star as you can see we keep we, we, we try always to be uh, in ahead our neighbors but it's not so easy yeah stop 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 you stop here man you stop here because then we grab this one next turn yeah so share maps okay let's do that it's not a big problem now we have a lot of gold so we can go and trade again and buy the dice Perfect. With the gold we pillaged. And now we can uh, see that we can go south. Here there are other armies, but uh, we don't really mind. We now start going south. Our legions are approaching Kerma, which has two, two inhabitants, guys. Kerma is, is a dead city, and when we will conquer uh, Kerma, we will have basically nothing but yeah so Lothal what are we doing it now I think we are pushing a little bit more our industry and then I will decide and we have enough influence to grab the religious minorities yeah let's take them all right we have much more gold and fortifications an aesthetic star I think that here I have everything. Let's talk to the friend Lucy. We can buy porcelain. It costs too much money. I don't have this money. Okay, fine.
Okay, we have been pillaging everything, right? So we could move to siege Karma with all our armies. Uh, we need, we still uh, are missing an army, so we need to be careful. And now we pick the first curiosity. It's a wreck, 100 gold. It's wonderful. This is wonderful because it allows me to trade already the porcelain, uh, which means more stability, more gold again and again. Moinodaro now is helping the, the build up of the Lighthouse of Alexandria. And Tikal uh, should do the same. Actually, I think that here I can boost a little bit more the production. Uh, not really. Maybe it's a mistake. Yes, it is. All right, so now we would need some gold actually because we have the Swamp Fever. And I think I'm going to spend uh, 250 gold just to avoid ignoring the fever. Otherwise, I think that a very bad event could happen. Uh, this is going to decrease the stability of my cities. That's not so good, but well. It seems that I could actually hire the troops of my neighbor, but those troops are not going to help me that much. So I'm closing the turn. And now I can finally move my uh, units in position. In, in, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm gonna do something like this. Perfect. Lotal has now stone works. Mm -hmm. Lotal has also two elf inhabitants. I would really like to start boosting a little bit the science production, and uh, uh, maybe uh, this city can slowly turn into the scientific city. And we could definitely then uh, build also a scientific quarter. Oh, very good. We have some resources. That's that's nice. And now we uh, receive an arms deal. Uh, if I accept that, I will be able to build the Goth um, unit. I really like it. I signed this. Set. I, I signed this very well because now we have the embassy, of course, in Minodari. I almost forgot about that. We lose only one, only one uh, pop due to the bad event. All right. And here we wait. Now our ship is going to die unless I don't bring it back to the safe land. And now guys, I think I will stop here. And in the next turn, I will um, attack Kerma. What, what I forgot to, to do actually, which was very important, was to settle down uh, here and here so that I expand my territory. Uh, without letting karma grow, of course. Actually, actually, I really don't need to win the war conquering the cities immediately. And that was my strategy since the beginning. I wanted to slowly uh, slowly um, kill them by attrition, which which happened. Because now this empire has seven, has seven a pop, uh, has four um, soldiers, or maybe eight, I can't remember exactly, but we're gonna attack them with uh, 20 soldiers and they would never be able to pair us. Even if my uh, units are kind of weak, what I could do very quickly is to settle. Um, I, I could do it in the next um, turn. I could settle down here, an outpost, and then use it to heal my troops. What they can do, nothing. They can try just to push back and lose a battle in open field. So I'm quite happy. What I will do then in the next episode is most probably, most likely, um, I would step to the Middle Ages, but I would really like, I would really need to grab another four buildings, four districts, so that I can complete the builder stars, which are very, very important for us since we are Maya. With that being said, thank you for watching and see you next time.